now because I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know if my camera's going to work. I don't know if the mic's going to work, but that doesn't stop us. I'm out here at our super secret location in the middle of the Pacific. Okay, how do I switch the camera around? There we go. All right, I think we're back. I think we're back. Like I was saying, I'm terrified. I don't know if this is gonna work. Uh, you, Catherine is here. We are in the super secret location out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. It is Hawaii. Ask, and, ask if Carl can hear you. Uh, Carl, can you hear me? Carl, are you on? My buddy, Carl Jacobson, uh, you know, I got questionable internet service in my little hole right here of my shop. So Carl, I'm doing this for you, man. Uh, Catherine and I are down here and we are punching perfectionism in the face and we're doing our best and forgetting the rest. Guys, I was so stoked to see this virtual craft festival going on all day. If you don't know what that is, I got the link in the description and it's different masters of their craft who were teaching tutorials from concept to complete today. I, I saw tutorials on wood turning. I saw tutorials on uh, making uh, pottery. I saw this guy using his, his lathe to create flat art that looked like this crazy eyeball, man. I mean, it was insane, the tips and techniques that I learned today. So I hope to impart some really cool tips for you guys. And I, I didn't take this assignment lightly. I got a good friend. His name's Carl Jacobson. And he reached out to me and invited me to be a part of this virtual craft festival. And I started thinking, what value can I bring to the audience? Because first and foremost, as creators, we're trying to bring value to those who give us some of their time watching our videos. We take that seriously. And I appreciate you guys being here. If you don't know me, my name's Mike Quist. I'm the uh, CEO of Stone Coat Countertops. My wife and I started this business on our dining table out of passion. We wanted to turn our craft into cash. We loved working with epoxy, remodeling, doing countertops, tabletops, desktops, floors, shower walls, and more. And we wanted to uh, be able to scale that. You see, we were going to home shows and we were showing people how to use our products. Um, because we wanted to do their jobs. We wanted to get in their house and, and remodel their space. In doing so, we learned a few key things about taking your craft and monetizing that or, or, or somehow doing something that we loved every single day for a living, okay? And so I thought, what can I bring to the audience? Well, I'm gonna show you just how to do that using epoxy. You know, other people that uh, create crafts here Everybody knows about epoxy, but, but the biggest hurdle that I was thinking about today while I was listening to my motivational uh, inspiration on YouTube, you know, you plug in motivation and there's this rabbit hole of things to go down. And I, I believe in personal development. I believe in really creating um, that positivity so that I can create positive things. And one thing that stood out to me was start stops most. Okay, so just starting stops most people from ever progressing, from ever going forward. And so I would invite every one of you that are watching this craft festival to start right now. I mean, turn this video off and just go start. No, I'm just kidding. Wait till after the videos are done and start. Start creating something that you love and let's figure out how to do that more and more because people love it too. See, the biggest hurdle that most people had, especially before the age of YouTube, was eyeballs and attention or awareness on what they create. And, and that's something that I learned as a contractor was if I can grab attention and eyeballs, then I would be able to sell more kitchens and countertops. And so that's what I'm gonna work on with you today while I create. Um, second thing, is I just learned that Olympic athletes, there are some Olympic athletes out there that actually learned their athleticism. Maybe they, maybe they were born with some athleticism, but they mastered that through watching videos on YouTube, okay? They became world-class Olympic athletes because they learned on YouTube. Mind-blowing. Everything that we want to learn is available to us on that device that you're holding or watching right now, and we can learn anything. And people put together festivals and groups and things like this that allow us to connect with other creators who are like-minded to learn at an explosive curve. Okay, you can, you can really expedite 
what took years and years and years of beating on your craft quickly through really good research. And so I invite you to don't waste time. Start. Go learn a craft that you love and enjoy and take that to the next level. Okay. Always a chance to fail. You're always going to have a chance to fail. So what? What's the consequence? Don't be afraid to fail. I was listening to Jeff Bezos. He's the He's the uh, old now, old CEO of Amazon, and he said that he lost not hundreds of dollars, not thousands, not hundreds of thousands, not millions, but billions of dollars in mistakes and failures. And because of that is why Amazon is where it is. So don't be afraid to fail. It's okay. You have my permission because all around me on the floor is epoxy that may have failed, <laughs> okay? So it dropped and I learned, okay? Be bold. Nobody wants to hear about somebody who's just maybe middle of the road or right there on the fence. Be bold in what you create and go show people with confidence. And let me tell you a little story before I get started. And guys, please let me know in the comments where you're tuning in from. Uh, let me know um, um, if you've ever made an epoxy project yet. And, and let me know some video ideas that you may want to see in the future. Going live is really powerful, and I hope this stream is coming through. How's it look, Catherine? It's, it's great, and people are chiming in from all over the Can world. Can you come back here real quick? Yeah. Do you guys know my wife, Catherine? She's really the brainchild behind Stone Coat Countertop, so Not this true, is why it all started, right? Well, I don't know about all of that, but <laughs> I worked really hard there. So we we, we worked together as a team. So. I told her I was going to do this today. I was kind of nervous because I was going to do it by myself. She jetted home and said, I'm here to help you. So thank you. Thank so, you. Thank you. All right. So she's back there. She's going to uh, read questions. So ask all the questions you want. I'm here with you until the 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 the, the hour has passed and then... You're going to see the master, the man that men want to be, the man that women want is Carl Jacobson. He's coming up right after me, and he's going to teach you something that I know will blow your mind. So stay tuned, and we're going to have some fun. Okay, I don't know what I was saying before that. Oh, a story. One story before I go. Um, my father, my best friend, my mentor, um, he and I, we were we were in Las Vegas for an a event that we were hosting. It was called the Artisan Summit. Carl Jacobson also spoke at this event. I was told that if you have a community of creators or a community of people that um, are like-minded in, in some sort of endeavor and you don't meet face-to-face, -face, at least annually, you need to start an event. You need to start a summit. I was told this by a mentor named Sean Cannell who has a company called Thank Media. And I took that seriously and my wife and I started the Artisan Summit. And when my dad and I went to Vegas to set this summit up and 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 to really, you know, get prepared, we were there a few days early and, and my dad had never been on the Las Vegas Strip. Not that I'm fond of the Las Vegas Strip, not that that's my jam, but it sure is interesting and I love the actual faux architecture. It really gives me ideas on how to mimic mother nature and, and match marble and, and granite and quartz and Venetian plaster and all these other things that you can see. But we were actually in front of the Bellagio, the one with all the fountains going off. I could see it now. And we approached a guy who had spray paint cans and he had canvases and he was out there and he was using, you know, buckets to create circles and he's spray painting and he's doing this almost like a magic show. OK, and the magic show was so intriguing. It hooked me so bad. I couldn't stop watching. I was so entertained. And the art that he was creating was like sci fi futuristic of outer space and planets and and asteroids and shooting stars and kind of not the jam that I would probably bring home and show my wife and say, honey, Hang this painting on the wall. I probably wouldn't do that knowing she may not go with that. But I was so hooked on what this guy was doing, and I fell in love with the story and the creative process. And you see, this is an unlock. This is, this is how you turn your craft into cash, is you bring people along for the journey. You know, we have in that cell phone or in that laptop that you're watching on right now, the ability to connect with your community, your region, your country, or even your world, okay? So if you decide that you wanna turn your craft into cash, I strongly implore you 
to please share with people the creative process. Show them how that went from concept to complete. Build value. You see, watching today, I got so much value out of those wood turnings. I got so much value out of one of the initial ones of where the, where the, where the gentleman was teaching me how to cook. I go, holy cow, look at what goes into cooking that meal. How much more would I appreciate that meal knowing and seeing? Have you ever been to a restaurant looking behind the glass at the kitchen? and seeing what goes into that and the controlled chaos that creates your meal, that is where the value is. That is what people wanna see. People buy from people who they connect with, who they like, who they love, who they know is sincere. I actually have some paintings. I learned how to do oil painting. I'm a huge fan of Bob Ross and I love painting quickly. I like getting a painting done in a day. Just sit down, hammer it out, and create a landscape. I do wet on wet, and I learned by watching some of Bob Ross's stuff, but then I graduated to YouTube, and I found some different painters. And one of them, his name is Kevin Hill, and he does Paint with Kevin as his YouTube channel. And when I initially started watching Kevin, he, he didn't have a lot of uh, paintings that were moving in his online store. They kind of sat stagnant and didn't sell. And he was selling them for a little bit less than you would think. And these were really good paintings. And as he taught people how to paint for free, his paintings price, I saw on, on his website, went up. His audience grew and he sold his paintings for two, three, four, five, ten 10x of what he originally was selling them for because he built value in the process. You see, there's a lot of people that love watching, but a lot of people, like I said in the beginning of this, start stops most. So they'll buy what you create. They'll watch you create it, they'll fall in love with it, and your customers will be ultimately the folks that you're teaching. So with that being said, let's get started. I know that was a lot of chit chat, but I really think that that is some serious value that I could add to this community of Create something that you love, teach people how to do it, whether it's at a craft fe festival physically, whether it's in a Facebook group or on a Facebook Live or on a YouTube Live, or even if it's to 10 people, I promise you, if you ask that audience to share and help you grow, they will. That's exactly where my wife and I started. So with that, hit the like button, share this video, and let's get the virtual craft festival known by everybody. All right, here we go. What am I going to do? Who knows what that shape is right there? Anybody know what that shape is? I actually went on the computer today and I got a picture right here. Actually, my wife did. And then I cut it out. And this is actually, did they guess yet? Did they guess what that is? A state. Someone's saying a state. It, it is, is a, it's one of them. It is a state. It's, a it's part of a state. state. Yeah. This is the big island Hawaii. Yeah. This, is, yeah. this is exactly where we are right now. You see, Oahu, it's the big island. this is the big island. It's Hawaii. And, uh, and here we go. That's the big island. See, my wife and I and my kids right now, we're doing a bunch of remodeling projects. I'm doing a lot of videos on how to take an old space and maximize it using epoxy. And one of the things that we need right now, because we're creating these vacation rentals, is you need to be able to help somebody get into your vacation rental easily and exit easily when they're time to go home. And so I'm making a little a little stand here that also reminds them to go directly to my website to book. I'll put my website, KonaEscape.com, right there on my big island, Hawaii, so they know next time, don't go to VRBO, come to my website. But it's also gonna double as a key holder. This is gonna be unfor unforgettable. It's also gonna be something that people can grab off the wall. I'm also gonna do serving trays, I'm gonna do some uh, coasters, I'm gonna do something for silverware because uh, cleanliness, especially after Corona, is highly important. It's on the top of mind and tip of tongue of everybody. So I'm going to take and make a waterproof, non-bacteria harboring silverware tray. So uh, I'm going to do all this that matches. But why does this apply to you? Because there are people that are creating vacation rentals, that are creating spaces that want custom furniture, that want your bowls, your pottery, something that they've learned connects with your state. If you lived in Oregon, you can create Oregon with a little heart where that little city is. You can do this with the big island. My wife and I, we bought a set of the islands that we hung on the wall in one of these vacation rentals. And I could have made this set 
but I was too lazy and I didn't want to. And, and it was made out of plywood and the big island was, you know, a little bigger than this, but not much. You know, it was seven islands. It was $400. I will buy a craft to furnish because it's, it's unique. So keep that in mind. And I'm going to go right now. Any questions while we go, honey, while I start going? And what, what time is it right now? I got to know how. You have 45 minutes. Oh, we got plenty of time. Nice. <laughs> We're doing good. I was like all heart racing. All right. All right. So any questions you have while we go, um, let's it's let's do it. Fun. I, I just want to say out loud, you guys are doing a great job. I love that you guys are interacting with each other and you're answering each other's concerns and questions and thoughts and giving each other ideas for projects. You have people from all over the world, which I think is fantastic. Thank you guys. Hey, look, Marcy's here. Rhonda's here. I saw her a little bit. Earl's on. We got lots of people in. So we just want to say aloha. We're so excited to be here. So thank you so much for that. Once in a while, so there's a lot of comments, but if you ask ask a really good question, I might throw it out there. Yeah, you know, um, I, I put on our Facebook group yesterday, what do you guys want me to talk about? What do you want the subject matter to be today? What do you want to learn in the live video? And honestly, uh, there was so much good um, video ideas in that, in that. And so one of them was about our ultimate top coat. Mitch is actually editing that right now. He's, he's about to release that video, uh, start to stop on, on the ultimate top coat, even doing that vertical on beams and things like that. Um, there's, there's, uh, questions about our, our platinum. Our platinum is about ready to come back, uh, in stock. And we have all that. Uh, we actually have a new, bonding primer that we're about to release that will actually Daddy. act as a bonding primer and a undercoat at the same time and it's designed for the platinum as well as our epoxy products so all those ideas you put in our group we're on it we're, we're releasing that we got it dialed so with let's let's go so what i'm going to do i actually have a few colors here but this i know catherine that you're going to love this color Wait, what are you doing you haven't talked to them I, I will. I'll show them. So this right this here. This is my favorite. That is a, a brand new color. That's called turquoise glitter. Mm -hmm. So uh, excited. All right. This is a really, really cool color. And I can't wait to see what it looks like. But, you know, when they come into this this rental that we're, we're, we're building right now, um, they're going to see the big island. I, I spray painted this using some blue. Okay. Um, the reason I did that is because... I don't want to see the edges. This is just MDF, guys. This is wow. this is a scrap of wood. And you know what? I tried to make it bigger by like creating a compass and but we're going to have to like blow this up on because it, the drawing didn't Perfect. scale, Perfect. right? It looked it looked like I I had no idea what I was doing. So this is a small version, but I want to create big ones. You know, For big, big Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then uh Sometimes it's okay to start small guys. Yeah, right? And okay. and we got some big projects too. So we got the Punch turquoise. Them in the face. That's another Sean Cannell quote. Hey, it's Heather's birthday. I'm going to give her a shout out. What's up, Heather? Love you. Okay. We got ocean blue. Nice. We got white. Okay. And we got turquoise glitter. Okay. Nice. And we're going we're gonna to use all of those right now. And we're going to create matching sets of things. We're going to use this for a tray. We're going to use this for our big island. Oh, I got I some coasters. I got, I got. a set. Yeah. For the same, so our idea here is that you're using it for the same condo. Yeah. Essentially, or same home or whatever. Okay, sounds awesome. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, one of the questions was, do you sell beginner kits? And the answer for that is we sell tons of different sizes of kits. If you go to our website, stonecookcountertops.com, you can do that. Uh, you asked about beginner's kit? Yeah, we already Oh, beginner's kit. Yeah, we have a basics page on our website. It's a great page for anybody who's never used epoxy. It teaches you how to mix, how to pour, how to trowel, how to chop, how to mix in color, how to, how, to, how to overcome some of the mistakes. But we also have a library of content that's searchable. You know, YouTube is a search engine. If you put in how to go over old tile with stone coat epoxy, you're gonna find it. How to do floors with stone coat epoxy? How to do uh, a wood turning? What? Showers. Oh yeah. I'm asking about showers. Oh yeah, oh, showers. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, no. If you want to learn how to do showers, just put in how to do shower walls with stone coat epoxy, and you're gonna learn how to save 
at least 10 times your money by doing it yourself as opposed to hiring a contractor. Um, so that's really what we pride ourselves on is empowering folks who want to start to be able to start and not make rookie mistakes by doing a little bit of research up front. One of the questions that they asked is where did you get that mixing tool or what we call a mixing paddle? Where did you get that one? Oh, I got this mixing paddle at... I don't want to say their name because it's they're not paying me to say Home Depot. Look, you can show the bucket that you also don't want to. Yeah, I know. But you know what? My good buddy Brando, um, he he is he he's an inventor. I don't have it here with me. He's created a mixing paddle that through his he's an engineer and it doesn't whip bubbles and it, it will do like stuff in very small cups and not whip air into the piece so uh this one yeah, it's fine you, you don't really matter because it's got a long working time our, our our formulation is designed for the do-it-yourselfer so you're not stressed there's zero voc uh no solvents no noxious smell it's long working time long open time so you get to sit there and play with it and i'm not panicked okay and i'm in high humidity and i'm in i'm in uh hawaii where you better not lollygag but i'm still lollygagging so how many different kinds of epoxy or can you just name off a few of the different types of epoxy for them Mike? uh in this one i'm using our countertop formulation but we have our countertop formulation our art coat it's the same formulation but art coat has a little bit more uh uv resistance and uv um enhancement and our uh our countertop is designed for just building countertops, tabletops, desktops. Um, uh, we have a flooring epoxy, we have a casting, uh, we have a couple different casting epoxies, um, things like that. But if you go on our website, we have a whole list of stuff that, um, you know, that shows you what all of our epoxy does. I actually have a video on every single product and in two minutes I explain what you would need. Um, so our website's pretty intuitive that way. Okay, let's add some ocean blue right here. I got it. I got some white. I got some white spray paint. Let's put a little bit more in there. And then I got my turquoise glitter. Can you tell them the difference between the dye and the spray paint, Mike, and why they want to use one versus the other? Um, the dye just acts different than the spray paint has a propellant in it that actually creates cells and creates really cool effects. Mm -hmm. So um, they both do different things and react different to metallic powders and things of that nature too. So one of the things I, what I'm seeing is you, you do this sometimes and what, what's happened is you launched an idea before it's up and ready, but, but it's on its way and sometimes you introduce things and that's what happened today with the Brando paddle. And so now everyone is asking, where do I get it? How do I get it? Oh, where is it? <laughs> he, no he actually, that soon. He, he's perfected it. He, he actually started by, um, by, by doing a 3d rendering of it and then 3d printing it. And, and we perfected it that way, and now we're actually getting an injection mold of made of that. Um, same way that our slab jig, if you want to flatten wood slabs, we created a slab jig that does that really easily. Um, oh, that glitter is really cool. I'm going to actually pour a little bit of blue in there, and then I'm going to add a little bit more glitter. That glitter is really, really neat. Have you guys seen that we added actually... We had a whole bunch of colors, but we've added 52 new colors, glitters, powders to our site. We're actually, um, we've come out with, uh, we're about to release, it's a dispersion fluid. And the dispersion fluid, we have a thin version. Oh my gosh, I got to show you this. Look at this. I don't know if the camera's going to be able to pick that up. Oh, they can see it. It's like, pretty sick. Look at, look at this. It's beautiful. So that's just our ocean blue and that glitter. This is going to be really cool. Right. Um, our dispersion fluid is really thin for mixing with our floor epoxy so you don't get tadpoles when you mix your um, metallic powders. And then we have a very thick version to create your own pastes. If you're an artist, you'll appreciate that. So that is coming out really, really soon. All right, I got, 
I got that's the white spray paint. This is the white dye. I'm gonna put a little bit of blue spray paint in here too. This is so much fun. So guys, what was your um did you did you like that monologue up front? Was that something that that you got any value out of? And if so, what was your big aha out of that? What what may have helped you? Oh, that was great. You know, I'm super passionate about um, you know, the business side of creating your your craft because if you love something and you can't figure out how to monetize that, you're pretty limited on how much you can do it. All right, I'm going to just create a bucket here. Oh, man. Can you bring that camera in here, Catherine? Okay, is that the... Do you want me to take it off? Or yeah, would you? So bring that right over here so they can see what I'm doing. I'm so, a rookie photographer, so I apologize if it isn't awesome. So I'm just pouring some of these different colors. And it's all kind of in the blue family. But I'm creating some serious fun here. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, this is going to be neat. And I'm just trying to show, this is one of our easiest techniques is this exotic pour. You just take all your colors from whatever family you want. Look at how that's like translucent. You know, the more dye that you put in, the uh, the more opaque it would be. And so um, you could play with, with how much dye you're putting in. So three or four people have said, and, and I think they missed what you had said, but they asked, what's the difference between this, the dye and the spray paint? Because you did both. Uh, the dye can be translucent if you, uh, well, so can the spray paint, but it's it's the cellular structure that the spray paint causes, which you'll see that it creates like cells. And that's because of the propellant in the spray paint. It's really an easy way to mimic like waves and stuff like that. And, and it just creates cells that uh, basically it's fighting. It's like mixing oil and water. Oil and water don't wanna mix. And so if you put a propellant in there that doesn't wanna mix, you're getting some really cool reactions. All right, so I know I'm going to do this tray. Okay. So what I'm going to do? Uh, yeah. Well, no, because no, bring like just hand hold it for a minute okay. because they're going to want to see this. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to do this right here, and let's let's pour the Big Island. R ready? Yeah. Bring it close. Okay. Right in there. You ready? Okay. All right. This is just how hard it is, guys. Oh my gosh, I know you're liking that. So can you imagine if you lived in Wisconsin or Nebraska and you did, you know, the Nebraska Cornhusker colors, or if you lived in Oregon and did the Oregon Ducks or the Beavers um, colors, or if you, you know, if you, if you just made this custom to your town and went to a craft fair, do you think people would would like that it was, and then if you were actually making these at a craft fair and showing people how you do it, you know how many people would stop and buy the ones that were already cured and ready to go? You would sell out. I guarantee you would not have enough. So I hope that, that I would love to see in the comment section as this video lives on YouTube forever is, is start telling me, yeah, I went and did that and look at, look at what I created. And and uh, oh, by the way, stay tuned to the end of this video. I'm going to choose somebody to send um, the colors and the, the uh, product that I'm using today. I'm going to send you your own so you can you can kind of do your own Bob Ross tutorial here and, okay. and do it. Check that out. It's so cool, right, guys? Look at that glitter in there. Do you like it? Yeah, it's, it's awesome. Dude. All right, so I'm going to put that. Oh, I got to move my jigsaw. That's what I used. So I just used a jigsaw to cut out the big island. I'm trying to. There we go. And there, you can see the selling starting to happen, and you can see that glitter really happening there. I'm going to torch it real quick. Cool. I'll back up so I don't get burned. So, <laughs> there you go. That's all you got to do to pop the bubbles. So, look at that. Look at all those under and overtones. All right, let's do this. Okay. I'm going to. Uh, so cool. I'm going to do this cutting board. Oh, great. You know why? Because someone asked, can you do a cutting board? That cutting board costs 10 bucks. This is a sweet cutting board. 
We got it at, I got it at Ross. So we, we got this cutting board yesterday. Catherine and I were like, all right, what would be cool for this video tomorrow? Um, cutting board. Let's try it. You guys down for this? Are you ready, Catherine? I am. Okay, I'm gonna get a spot ready to, to set this. After? Yeah. Um, no. Okay, I need another set of gloves. Any questions that I can answer while I'm multitasking here? Oh, they're doing so good. Christina tuned in. Welch? Yeah. Hey, hey, Christina. Yeah. Miss you. Good to see you on the live. Thank you guys for all of your support. Thank you for being here. Man, we appreciate it. So Marcy and Johnny are on, and they said it's Sierra's birthday, too. So oh, happy, happy birthday, Sierra. I love you, little girl. Sierra is one of the most cool little kids I've ever met, man. That's cool. Chris Brooks sent in a message and said her first piece was a cutting board. Oh, nice. So you're going to like this one. Yeah. So All right. Is, the biggest, one of the bigger questions is how long does it take to cure? Um, what type of epoxy is recommended for the cutting board first? Like Stone coat. Like well, I, I, will, I wouldn't cut on this. Um, I don't recommend that, but I do recommend using, um, using this as an accent. See, I'm not going to pour this whole cutting board. I'm going to just uh, make it look, make it match the big island here. I'll show you, I'll show you how. So usually people call that more like a cheese tray or a serving, serving tray, tray, right. But it looks really epic so you can start with a cutting board you get to present look at this so things. show them the cells right here that the white that's what the white spray paint did okay, so let me yep right right here that's what the white spray paint does can you back up one step yeah there you go. all right we got to pour i don't want this sitting in the bucket too long no okay. you ready for this Wait, I'm, gonna get on the right side. Okay. I'm gonna actually do it right here because I don't want to spill on the edges of this circle. Right. Okay. You ready? Okay. Tell me this isn't fun. Right. All I'm doing is just kind of letting it do its own thing. Yeah, I'm wasting a little bit over the edges but it allows it to flow, okay? So now I'm just gonna come out here and just give it like, and I like to usually go like wide on one part of it like this. <laughs> asking, do you prep your board first? Do you usually do that? What's that look like? Yeah, usually I sand it with 220, but I just took this out of the package and I've re I realized, you know, don't overthink it. It's always good to create good adhesion, but I've done this without, and our epoxy has a, a very tenacious bond. It's always good to like be careful, but this is a sample. So you know what? I'll do a video after this cures, and I'll try to pull it off, and I'll show you how well that... Um, look at how clean that looks when you just like... Come show them around the handle. So if you just... Don't pour it around. Like, you just let it flow. Look at what it does. Wow. Look at how beautiful that looks. Isn't that cool? And it's just getting that, just a little bit of an accent of it. So somebody asked, so you can't cut on it? They're all nervous. But no, you don't <laughs> cut on the epoxy. If you, 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 cut, you, you cut on the cutting board. Um, but it kind of would go with the countertops. So if you were doing countertops for people, um, make them one of these, it'll match their counter, but they cut on the actual bamboo or the maple or whatever, whatever, whatever you've bought at Ross. Mm -hmm. Or heck, you could do it in your shop with scrap wood. All right, let's go on to this. I think this, I've never done one of these before. Okay. And the whole point is this is a, this was $6.99 at Ross. It's made out of bamboo, which is cool because it's grown right here on the island and, uh, you know, I don't know if this bamboo was, but bamboo in general is. And uh, it, it goes with that vibe, but, you know, you kind of get yuck that grows down there after a while. So let's, let's try this. Let's see what happens. And I'm just pouring that, and then I'll come back if I have to. But before I go to the next one, I'll just, just put enough to flow. 
really like that. You know, this blue is a little dark, but I'm I'm digging it. What what about you, honey? I I am digging it too. I I see some people. I mean, my real talk is that they're a little discouraged because of the cutting board idea. They said they were a little worried about that, but really what people like is that they're going to be able to have something that accents in that. So I don't want you to be discouraged. The reason that he's saying they probably wouldn't spend a lot of time cutting on it is it's going to mar it. It's going to end up, you know, creating more work for you. And so we like to use it as an accent. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, totally. Cutting boards are easy to refinish. You just sand them. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> if you wanted an epoxy cutting board, go for it. But just like Corian or, or something like that, you're you're going to scratch it up. So you could sand and refinish it. But I, I, loving your colors. I love the look. I mean, look at the, the wood on. The contrast. Yeah, I mean, that that is so, so neat. So beautiful. Look at that, guys. You can see it's just kind of you know settling in That's i mean beautiful while he's doing that sorry a good friend of mine he told me the difference between good and great here you gotta i gotta show him the difference between good and great is that much so when somebody comes to our ocean condo and they see this in their in their drawer how do you beat oh i just grabbed the big island Every, every one of their, they're like, oh my goodness, my silverware is floating. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Right. right? Oh All right, guys. I want to know, how is the audio? How, we how, we're so funny, guys. Sorry how's, the, how's the visual? How's the audio? How's the live stream? Do I need to improve it before I do another live? And if this works, I could go live more often out here. All right. So I got a little bit on the, uh, I'm going to get a little alcohol. Actually, I'll do that after because I want to pour the rest of this. All right, let's try this. Let's try some coasters. This was a log that was sliced to create coasters. And we got these at Ross for $5.99. Let's create coasters that match everything else. You ready? I think it's really fun. So we have people that have been watching us now for years and years and years. And... We decided to be smarter, not harder this time. There was a day that we would have made these ourselves in the shop and and it would have been like, we would definitely recommend that for sentimental stuff. But this was kind of just, this is a neat, fun project. Look at this. All right. You know what would have looked cool for this one? No. What? Because it's like, it's like oozing. It almost reminds me of like, if we would have done red for like lava, that would have been cool. Yeah, right? yeah. So it's not like it's not cool, but. Since we're we're thinking of the islands, you know. This is pretty she cool. You can't see the glitter. People can't see the glitter. But it's kind of settling a little bit and it's hard to tell because of the light. I really apologize, guys. I'm I'm sorry. Yeah, get in here and um get, kinda... get in here close for them as I pour this. Okay, hold on one second. Let me do that. Ready? Try to get the glitter better. Yeah, you can definitely see the glitter. In real life you can see it. You know, and we're we're limited on the quality of the video because it's live and my internet signal is only so good. Right. So if you see those dots, that's glitter. I'm, I'm trying to, oh, am I being successful, guys? Can you see it now? I'm sorry that I need a mic too. My bad. I'll stop talking, actually. <laughs> All right, here we go. Number four, number three. I love the design that it naturally just gives us here. It's so pretty. Okay, you know what? Oh, I can see it good from the side. Let me torch the bubbles. You can use a heat gun, a hair dryer, or a torch. I like a torch the most just because it's so fast. Number four. Nice. Oh, I like that. Look, guys, because it's towards the bottom of the bucket, you can see it has the same, you know, shades, but that one came a little bit, has a little bit different character. That's cool. All right. Now we got this little pineapple I got at Walmart yesterday. Check that out. Oh. And I'm thinking just like water in the pineapple. Okay. What do you think? Sounds like a plan. All right. Here we go. Okay. 
I mean, come on, like, if I was at a craft festival right now, well, I am at a craft festival, and if I was at a craft festival, and I'm doing this live, and I'm teaching people my passion, I'm teaching them how to do it, maybe I have finished pieces, maybe I ask the audience, hey, what's your favorite color, where would you use this, you want me to make it for you, you know what, I'm going to give you this set of coasters, give me your phone number, we'll connect, and sending that, you create so much fun in that in environment, it's contagious, okay? Remember, people buy from people they know, like, and trust. So when you're wood turning, when you're creating your pottery, you know, take some time and teach people how to do it, just like you saw today, and you're gonna sell your, your art. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Somebody made a suggestion, so you get a choice, Mike. What? Someone said, do the pineapple, pineapple upside down, and that actually... The reason I, I don't wanna do that is because I didn't paint the pineapple and it'll it'll flow off uh, and it, you'll see kind of, it'll just kind of wash out. Okay. This this will be heck of vibrant because it's gonna just settle there. The same reason that you did preview the big island. That's great. Oh, Erica and Thornton are on. Hey, what's up? Artists till death, guys. If, if you have not seen videos from Erica and, and Jeff, they're artists till like, death. I mean, look, look at look at that. It's like a little heart. That's cool. That, that, that just looks interesting, right? I got this bowl right here. Do you think I should do the same thing in the bottom of this bowl? I mean, would that create? I think it's cool. You know, the it. other thing it does is it gives us a perfectly flat inside that we could then put our logo and then like a translucent clear coat. Right. So they're seen through down to the water, you know, and maybe put like treats in there for them. So when they get to the bottom, they're like, oh, they gave it to us. I'm gonna go again. So <laughs> so let's let's do that. I'm glad you're laughing. Oh, thank you. That's what we, that's our avatar. When we think of people in the standard condo, they talk like that. <gasps> Oh, that's rude. <laughs> now I feel mean, man. No, I think that you sounded happy and excited to be in Hawaii. You okay. Know, that was great. Okay. Here we go. Okay. All right. Here we go. Time for the water. All you right. ready? We're ready. Wait. Would you guys do the bowl? Some of them have What's... said yes. They said of course. They they have different ones. What? I, I would spray a maybe a little bit of something in there. What do you think? No, okay. no way. Oh. This is this is a matching set. Okay. Don't overthink it. All right. Dip the rim. I don't know what that means. Everyone's saying yes, 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 yes. I don't know. More or less. What do you think? More. Boy, that won't tip over now. <laughs> it's not moving. No, that's cool. That's great. Wow. Cool. Well, we created quite the set here, sir. Yes, we got coasters, we got cutting boards, we got bowls, we got pineapples. Your turtle, I left up there when I was making the thumbnail. I like used the turtle for a minute. Guys, I showed you on our thumbnail um, dinosaur eggs that we've been making with epoxy. So there's some dinosaur eggs. Do you guys want to learn how to make dinosaur eggs? Let me know and we'll make that video. Um, my kids and I have been way into dinos lately. We're trying to convince mom to let us make a, a velociraptor for the garden. What do you think, honey? Uh, so I guess what you guys should know here, I need to talk. Is the mic on that thing? It's on my, it's on my oh, neck. I'll talk to you for a second. So if you haven't checked out, Mike has his own YouTube channel. So if you want to see the garden that he's talking about and why he is all about dinosaurs, you should go check out his just Mike Quist, but he has he walks you around his garden and my voice you're turning away from me. I'm mic. trying to find the alcohol so I could wipe this one spot right here. You want my help? Um, I'm just looking for the isopropyl <laughs> alcohol. Oh, nice. All right, I'm gonna try to wipe. See this edge right here? Just looks a little yucky. I spilled some epoxy, so keep talking. Sorry about that. Oh no, that's okay. But he, they, him, and my boys. We have four boys. Mm -hmm. And uh, they work really hard out in the garden. And so it actually really, we, we tease and say, it's either looks like the Garden of Eden or Jurassic Park. And so he really wants to do a dinosaur. Let me know in the comments below, if you were the wife, would you allow a velociraptor? Or would you encourage that? Let's see what you guys think. And now here's the truth. I don't, I want your honest opinion. So I'm going to go read the comments and you keep talking about what you think to do here. 
There we go. That alcohol. See, I, I got a little drip, which was kind of a rookie mistake. Yeah, so that's okay. Encourage it, dinosaur, dinosaur, dinosaur. Yeah. Erica. <laughs> yes. See? Yep, yep. Definitely. Oh, yes, yeah. Boy, this is amazing. What time is it? It's 1.45. Oh, cool. We got a few uh, a few minutes for Q&A. So um, let's do some Q&A. What, uh, what questions can I ask? Um, how many of you have started your own craft business? How many of you are full-time hustle in woodworking or epoxy or pottery or art or what is it that you that oh, you yeah. that you do? They asked uh, somebody asked if you've ever done a pour and then turned it on a lathe. They, yep, he's done that with Carl actually. Carl taught me how. Carl Jacobson, he's coming up next. He is a world class wood wood turner, but most importantly, he's a world class coach. He's such a great teacher, and and he and I connected a number of years ago just because he's the nicest guy on planet Earth, and and I reached out to him, and he's like, yeah. Yeah, I'll hang with you for a day, dude. I'll show you how to do this. <laughs> and, and I was like, sweet. And, and he uh, he got me so hooked, I, I got a lathe from him. He actually, he sells some of the world's best lathes. And I bought a robust lathe from him and love it. It's the best tool that I own. So if you guys are interested in getting into woodworking, Carl Jacobson you know, would be somebody to reach out to. He has everything listed. He made it super simple to start and, and understand where to start. So thank you, Carl. And yes, uh, I, I do wood turning and, and epoxy projects all the time, but you need the right bits. So Carl's uh, website teaches you all about those bits. Um, I, I, I have a lot to learn, but boy, did I learn a lot on today's virtual craft festival. So they were, they're asking where else to find you because they said, well, what's Mike's other site? What does that look like? So yeah, no, I mean, I, I started a site just called Mike Quist and, and it's a very small channel. I just started it and it's, it's really my, my vlog, man. Like, like, you know, not that anybody really cares, but if you do care, uh, I, I, I talk about real world stuff about how we started our business, about what keeps us motivated because I firmly believe, like I said in the beginning of this video, in the power of positivity and and and, and self-driven motivation through uh, prayer and research and 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 just starting and going and a combination between relentless naiveness and 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 research creates something cool. So if you guys want to hear more about that, you can go check out that channel. Um, yep, that that answers that. Pretty cool. Yeah, you have a lot of people here, Mike, that are talking about their businesses. Like we've mentioned, we've already talked about our full-time hustlers, our friends, our the other influencers we use. You know, what you can do there, guys, look at what's happening. We got people from all over the world and you're in the comment section right now. You can reply in the comment section to each other. This is evergreen. It's going to live on YouTube. Those comments live on YouTube and you can connect with one another. If you know each one, teach one, find a mentor, help somebody. If you've learned something and you see a comment, we go read every single comment. If you go to my, you know, we just had a video. It, it got 5.6 million views in one month. We answered every comment. Okay. So go in the comment sections and, and, and reach out. And, and if you want to really help a creator, go on their channel and ask them questions in the comment section. And, and then tell people if he helps you or she helps you or they teach you something, go help them grow. I mean, that right there is how we, we've taken entertainment on TV and moved it into different platforms that make it possible to learn how to become an, an Olympic athlete on YouTube. Give me a break. Is that crazy? So what are you doing? Are you watching videos of cats playing with yarn or are you listening and learning how to do something how to fix something how to build something how to 10x something how to turn something into a matching ocean set man this is <laughs> this is really cool i really like this yeah, I love it. guys did you like uh, these colors okay so let's see i'm gonna be picking soon somebody who's in the comment section so Next question. What, what should what should we talk about here, guys? I got new shirts. I want to thank my sister. Uh, I will actually uh, put in the link her link. So if you want shirts for your business, 
Go check her out. These are the most comfortable shirts I ever wore, and it's a V-neck because the mic needs to be lower because my beard hits it. So totally got them customized. Do you like the fabric, honey? Yeah, it's great. Does it make me look fat? No, you look great, right? Doesn't he look thin, guys? So good. He worked really hard to get... No, you know. no, I'm just... Okay, any other questions? They are... So why don't you tell them... You want to tell them... Why don't you tell them your favorite creation story? Pick a, pick one of the things that you built that you thought was awesome and tell them... I'll, t I'll, tell, you, I'll tell you what, man. Um, because I was teaching people how to do epoxy, I got a phone call about two years ago. And that phone call came from a man named Dr. Bob Martin. And Dr. Bob Martin lived in Hawaii. And I was so busy at the time, running all over the place, putting... Uh, doing as much as I can to put in as many countertops as I can. Dr. Bob said, hey, I really would love for you to come rescue my kitchen. I, I, I literally have gotten bids on the big island and his kitchen was massive. He, he lived in a mansion. I didn't realize this when he was, he was texting me. I didn't even realize he was a radio personality. He's a syndicated radio personality on all kinds of shows. And he's like, hey, can you come out here? I'll fly you and your team out to Hawaii. I'll pay you to do my countertops. I was like, bro, you don't got to pay me if you fly us out. Like, I don't really have time though. And, and I learned the power of putting things out there, putting your services out there on YouTube that check out what I make. And we actually went out to YouTube. I mean, went out to the big island to, to Dr. Bob's. We met him. We met his family, some of the sweetest people on planet Earth. And we, we actually did his kitchen for free. And I fell in love with this place. I called my wife. I said, Catherine, this island is rural. It's like the country. It's like farms and gardens and waterfalls. And our kids would love it because we love the ocean and diving and, and whales and sharks and fish. And, 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 and she's like, no, no, we're not moving out there. She came out here. She said, yeah. This is amazing. And, 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 and long story short, if I didn't put my videos on YouTube, I would have never met Dr. Bob. I probably would have never come to the Big Island, Hawaii. And now that I have, we've made it our home and we love it here. What's the power of pressing play? You never know until you go. All right. I actually just ran into Dr. Bob's family the other day at Walmart. And uh, <laughs> Dr. Bob said, man, thank you for doing our counters. We love them. They're fantastic. You saved, we saved him 50 thousand dollars because his kitchen was massive and the trades are so expensive here in hawaii so that being said guys i really appreciate you tuning in i'm super humble and grateful to be asked by carl to do this um okay so they do have some questions okay okay so they're asking about cure time yeah this is going to be ready tomorrow um it'll be all dry actually because the humidity is high here and it's warm this will be dry to the touch in a few hours and ready for light use uh, in, in a couple of days. If I did the ultimate top coat, you could use it the next day. Okay. So, yeah, it's fast. Is there any epoxy with UV protection for the exterior stuff? Is there anything that you have that? Yeah, it's, it's, UV it's our platinum product, um, which, which we, we've had to tweak and reformulate because to get something to withstand the sun, is not easy and our chemists have been on that and and getting that to to adhere and bond and 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 work in all climates whether you know because now you got freeze thaw cycles and all these other things that come into play so we're about ready to release that and it will be the only non-yellowing coating in this industry made for outside that really works so we're, we're so excited about that okay so we got to answer a question because they are they're saying, you're confusing me. I thought you guys were from Oregon, which we are. Yeah. <laughs> so explain that. Just no, explain we're, that. we are from Oregon. Our business is in Oregon. My wife and I fly back and forth. We, we still um, are, are doing, doing our jam, but we're living our dream, guys. We, 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 we bought a home out here in Hawaii because of that video, and that's where I am right now. And uh, the, the, the beautiful thing about modern technology is you get to get on a plane and fly. Yeah. So super grateful for that. Yeah. Um, they're asking if there is, um, well, let's just talk about it, Victory. One of them, somebody is creating a tiny home using all of our products. Nice. I love oh. tiny homes. Talk about a movement. The tiny home revolution is perfect for the showers, the floors, the countertops, and your state. 
in a cutout right there on the wall saying welcome. Right. Um, I think that one of the things that I'm seeing as some really good tips is they're talking about making sure that you mix appropriately. So maybe give them some information of where they can find all their best starting Yeah, I mean, if you just look up Stone Coat Epoxy How to Mix, you Google it, YouTube it, you're going to see it. You're going to see it. It's easy. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. It's got some allowance for, for mismeasuring, but... Just follow the instructions. If you if you can cook, you can create with epoxy. It's following a recipe. We've made it that simple. We've tried to take and create recipes so that you are an artist, so that you bring the inner artist. Artist till death will appreciate this. You bring that out of you, and that's exactly what you do with our with our tutorials. Talk to him about the low VOC and what that means. Yeah, low VOC is vo volatile organic compound. There's no noxious smell. There's no solvents. That's why it's food safe. That's why it's appropriate for a kitchen countertop is because our resin doesn't have solvents escaping to cure it to then put in the air or on your, you know, surfaces. All right, guys. Um, I'm, yeah, no, uh, I'm, I'm super excited about this. I can't wait to see what Carl Jacobson has to offer. I'm going to cut this thing three minutes short because I know he's sitting there waiting. So guys, until next time, from Stone Coat Countertops, from our super secretive place out here on the Big Island, Hawaii, you got this. We'll see you on the next live video. All right, now I got to figure out how to turn it off. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe right here. Hit that and say, are you sure you want to stop?